an emergency. Hi, I was calling. I'm up Hutchison and Fountain at the, what's the name of it? Um, Karen's Garden. Karen's Garden. So I was walking down the street and some men just confronted me with a gun and they fought me and tried to take my belongings. Okay. What's the address where you're at? Um, what's the address? 2348. 2348. East Fountain Boulevard. Okay. What's the phone number you're calling from? Phone number? But they're asking for information. The phone number? Do you have a phone number? I'm sorry, I'm calling you off an office phone. Oh, that's like, okay. There was just a business What's... place in the area. I no don't know worries. the number. What's your name? It's a nursing home, and oh, they that... just happen to be right down the street. That's playing, okay. so. What's your name? <laughs> and is it your last name commonly spelled? <laughs> Tell me exactly what happened. So I'm walking down the street. There's these two black guys. One of them has a gun. They approach me. They're like, what's in your pockets? And like. Uh, um, basically, like, at first, like, I was startled, so I really was, like, nothing, but I didn't say, like, out of fear or nothing, then they, like, then one of the guys started hitting me, and I fall down to the ground, and the other guy pulls out the gun, and then he's, like, you better tell me what's in your pockets, and, like, from there, you know, I just kind of, like, told him, like, I really didn't have nothing, I had a couple dollars on me, they took that, um. Oh, they did take your money? In my, yeah. Okay. They took my um I, my wallet, which had my ID, my social security. Okay. And then all my uh, temporary ID, but that's about it. I okay. I don't really have nothing with me. Okay, so I do have a call started. I'm going to ask you a few more questions, okay? Okay. All right, I'm just putting everything in here. Are you at, and I know you're at that location. When did this happen? This just happened like 10, five minutes ago. I literally just walked like five minutes away to okay. where I could use the phone. Okay. And what type of gun? Um, I don't know. It was like a Glock 23, something like that. It okay. was definitely a Glock. Okay. And where are the weapons now? They're on the people who did this to me. I don't know exactly. Where like, I'm literally okay. only, I'm not even a block away. I'm right down the street. Okay. And how many suspects are involved? Two. Okay. I just wanted to confirm. And where are the suspects now? The suspects are um, either still where they did that, but I know, like, I kind of have history with them, so I know where they live, but oh, I don't you, know, like... Uh, you know them? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And just to confirm, where are they now? They're still at the place they did this at. Okay. Like, not even more than a block away. Okay. And it, my dispatcher's asking, where did this occur at? This occurred at Donovan Drive and, um, I would say, Fountain Boulevard. Okay. Like, right by the John Adams Elementary School. Okay. All right, I'm going to let them know so the officers are aware that that's where they're at. It's like, and it's, it's like in process. They're literally right down the street. I just okay. ran because to the nearest phone. I no, move. I definitely understand. And I need to get the suspect's description. I know you said there's two black males. Let's start with one of them. What, uh, one's how, black. He's skinny. He has a skinny. mustache, okay. a white afro. Um, you said a white afro? Light afro. Oh, light like, afro. It's not, it's okay. not like a whole bunch of hair, but he has an afro, a mustache that connects. Um, his How old is he? Fast. There's one that's like kind of overweight. His name is Lawrence. Uh, okay, and that first, like, that first suspect with the mustache, how old is he? He's about 19. 19? And what was he wearing? He was wearing, honestly, I don't remember. I just know he pulled out a gun. Okay. Um, oh, that's okay. The person Lawrence are like 190 pounds. They're kind of like heavier. Um, is this I know exactly suspect? where they live, too. Okay. Yeah, and that, the, the first suspect, I noticed the second one's name was Lawrence. What was the first suspect's name? Baz. That's like his nickname. I don't know his actual name. What's his nickname? Spaz. Spaz. Okay. Yeah. ATM Spaz. That might, like, help if, like, y'all have any documents or anything on them or, like, any reports on them. But I don't know his actual name, but I know where he lives. Yeah. Okay. What's his address, Spaz? I don't know his exact address, but if the cops were to come, I could point it out. It's like at these apartments, he okay, like he lives there, so he's destined to walk out of there at one point. Okay, and that second suspect um, named Lawrence, how old is he? He's about the same age, eighteen okay. and nineteen. He lives right down the street. I could also point out his house. Okay, and what was he wearing? Um, they were both in shorts and like t-shirts. I really can't remember. They just walked okay. up on me out of nowhere. Okay, like. So I really wasn't paying attention. So that was more like running to the nearest place for your safeness. So.
Okay, no, I, I definitely understand. Can you spell Lawrence's name for me? L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E. Okay. Lawrence, um, I don't know his last name, but like I said, I know where he lives. I'm pretty okay. sure he has a record or something. So How tall is he? Cool. About 5'10", in between there, about like 5'11". Okay. What, I honestly what color don't hair? know all that information. Um, black hair. Okay. Black person. And does he have anything that makes him stand out? Does he have anything that makes him stand out? Tattoos, facial hair, piercings. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention okay. to all that, but they both claim to have guns. It's just he didn't have to pull one out at the moment. He didn't. Okay. Um, and I need to get the suspect's vehicle description. No vehicle. They just walked up with me. I was walking to the okay. neighborhood. That's what I'm saying. They're right up the street. Okay. They're probably still there. They're walking. 